Greetings MechWarriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to MechWarrior Online and today we are running the Hata Motoshi in a full team support loadout. Tag, AMS and 1, 2, 3, 4 LRM 15s together with a light engine 285 and the Beagle Active Probe and that allows us to get 60 firepower from our LRMs, 57.7 speed and 1.71 heat management now guys this build is quite dangerous to run because you have zero defense below 180 meters if you get caught below 180 you're done okay in terms of skills you want to get the firepower nodes for missiles so missile rack high explosive as well as missile spread of course we do want to get a lot of armor so left side of the survival tree plus ams overload one and two to further improve our AMS capabilities. Mobility is going to be important, so let's take full speed tweak. That should allow us to get into position a little bit easier and this also allow us to move around a little bit faster. And then of course, full operations tree to keep the heat in check from those LRMs. And on the auxiliary tree, as always guys, you're going to get double RD strike and a double cool shot with cool shot reduction. Okay. Oh. Let's jump right into the first game and the cool thing about this is we are finally dropping with a good friend, we're finally dropping with Brios who I rarely meet in game but it's always a pleasure to be playing with him. And so let's see what we can make happen here on Mining Collective and guys of course this is not a good map for Lurming because you have lots and lots of cover for enemies and we're walking straight through an artillery strike. But you know what? TTB is unharmed. I just don't care. I just ignore it and because I ignore the artillery strike, it doesn't damage me. Perfect. Alright, let's keep on pushing forward going on the Uziel and dealing some more damage to him. And um, I'm in a good position right now, we're quite far behind the tip of the spear, so we can do some good fire onto enemy targets. However, we also took some fire from the center here on our right side torso. Very damaged right now, so we need to be very careful with exposing too much. The enemy team has taken the center, I dropped an artillery strike on them, took a little bit of damage there. And now I'm trying to learn that Fafnir. Guys, again, 180 meters is our minimum range. As you can see, even though we're outside of the center right now, we can't really learn that guy because he's 10 meters below minimum range. So, I'm trying to move here, trying to shoot, getting uh, shots blocked. As I said, this is a hard map to learn on. You have to find the right angles. So, let's keep on learning that Mauler MX-90. He's got lots of heavy machine guns and MRMs. Interesting. Okay. Keep on shooting him and we see that the enemy team is also pushing towards the Delta 4 area so they're pushing around behind us. Two piranhas are coming in, they're munching on our annihilator and I'm trying to see if I can get any kind of suppressive fire on them. I'm not shooting the other guy that is shooting the annihilator right now because he is below minimum range. Again, I can't do anything against that guy. So I have to backpedal and find another target, for example that Bloodath, shoot some LRMs on him, that should suppress him. Yep, he's going backwards now. And now we can start try maybe working on that piranha. Uh, I'm going for a shot here but it's probably not gonna hit, yep, because he's in cover, small man. But what we can do is we can rain some damage onto that Wolverine and uh, persuade him to get lost. There's a Fafnir coming in as well. I have to backpedal now. I cannot get out to the right side. And if I go left, I'm dead as well because the whole enemy team is coming there. So let's just choose a target and start learning like a madman. Yeah, some more onto that Mauler. We knocked out one of his MRM-40s. That is good. Very good. Um, however, we still have to keep moving backwards. Uh, I'm isolated right now, guys. And what I can do at this position is I can do covering fire, I can really rain down hell on the enemies, but the team has to lock targets now. Normally I always like to get my own locks, but in this case, team, you have to lock. Now let's try and get around the corner, maybe learn this guy. Uh, of course, well, uh, for some reason he's coming for me, I don't think he knew that I'm there, I just... Maybe, maybe he just wanted to get out of dodge or whatever, but um, I can't fight him. I don't have any weapons right now. I'm hoping that the Vapor Eagle down here is going to engage him now. Yep, perfect. His secondary MRM-40 is also knocked out, so it's just three heavy machine guns and a pulse laser. He's not going to kill me with that. I'm just going to body block him and try and cover myself as much as I can with my good arm. Yep, he's done. And now we can go back towards the center and support our team and help them take out these enemy assaults. There's a charger up front. 4 medium passes and 1 LRM 20, that's a weird build, but uh, okay, I will learn it nevertheless, 50% and he's just dropping a lot, 
And the thing is, guys, if you are getting hit by a Lurm Barrage, you know the bad feeling that you get from that. You can't do anything about it, you just feel helpless, it's just the noise, you check your cockpit and whatnot. So, do not underestimate the power of a well-played Lurm support mech. And work together with them as a team. The game needs good Lurmers. Just don't overdo it. Okay, so... Going in on Eben Jack, that should be the second to last target. Yep, and it's only one target left, a Boom Jaeger. Uh, let's see, can we have a lock? Yeah, okay, so let's alert him from the outside, maybe get the kill on him. Come on, drop already, must be XL. Come on, there we go, okay, so XL check complete. GG, well played. Glad I brought Lerms. <laughs> I always die, Daddy. <laughs> hello, YouTube, and hello. Two killing blows, nine assists, um, 986 damage done, three kill most damage dealt. I can live with that. I can live with that, absolutely. Beautifully done. Okay, let's jump in right into the next game here on Grimplexus. Uh, same deal guys, I want to make sure I stay the hell back and just support as much as possible with my LRMs onto any targets that I can find. And I'm trying to hit that Bushwacker, didn't really work out, he must be in cover. So we just switch on over to the next target we can find, he is under ECM. Uh, we just get one salvo off and uh, it's not gonna hit because we lost the lock. So we'll just stay behind here, carefully, but slowly but surely shooting at targets that present themselves. Um, trying to see if we can get the lock on. Yep, okay, so he actually took a full salvo from us, that's perfect. Now we can switch on over to target Delta, drop an Ardu on his face, it's a Nova Cat. He's not gonna be fast enough to run away, so he took the full salvo there as well. Guys, when you're learning, very important, don't just do chain fire. If you see a target that is out in the open and you have a really good shot on him and you are low heat, do a quick series. You will see me pumping these lerms out and incurring full heat penalties from uh, Ghost Heat, and that's fine, because sometimes you just gotta go for shock and awe. Let's say for example there's a free AMS Nova somewhere. If you just shoot chain fire, it's gonna have a lot of time to actually shoot down your missiles, but if you shoot like this, you're shooting 60 missiles in a matter of seconds, and the, even the triple AMS can't handle that, you will still get a lot of shots through. So, just something to keep in mind. So, He's down, let's try and see if we can get Juliet, that's a Nightstar, he is dead as well, but we are 3 kills to 3, enemy team is Nazcarring in behind us, we could be very careful about that, let's push in on that Nightstar, try to take him down before he does any more damage on our side here, and that will allow our team in turn to turn around and face the enemy head on, and I'm getting shot in the back here from something, oh yeah, okay, we need to move now, definitely need to move, I wanna learn, but I have to move. Okay, maybe get one or two more salvos off on this guy, 1, 2, 3, 4, he should be dead now, there we go. Now we have to turn. Delta seems juicy, that's a Nova Cat, he's got ATMs, I've got Lerms, Lerms versus ATMs, but I have a teammate that is shooting him and that should take out his CT very soon, there we go, perfect. Okay, six kills to five, it is a very very close game right now, there's a Huntsman coming in, there's also a Hunchback with ERPPC, light machine gun and medium lasers, okay, and there is a Javelin with snap nose PCs. If he gets too close, we have a problem, good thing is he chooses to run away. Um, and that is perfect for us because we are in perfect Lerm range and one of his legs should be giving out any second now. Too close right now, so we need to switch targets, guys. Always, if a target is too close, immediately switch targets and find something else to shoot and then just rain hell down on that guy. Uh, somebody coming up behind me, there's a Bushwacker from before, that's the guy that was uh, shooting us at the beginning of the match. We shoot him back and he's CT red, which means he should be CT dead any second now. There we go, Merry Christmas! Time to switch targets maybe on over to the Huntsman India. Now we are away from the rest of our team and we're one kill down right now. I'm just trying to learn as much as I can right now. And do take note, I'm forgetting to use my tag here. So I'm actually throwing away some damage on these guys, uh, which is not a good thing to do. And that guy is probably gonna kill me. I'm very caught in the center right now and yep, there we go. Straight through the CT. Uh, that was a PPC hit or something, and uh, let's see if the teammates have a chance to actually pull this off, but I don't think so, yeah. One against three, and he is not looking too fresh. He might be able to get the clear shot on the Hunchback if he focuses his CT, but he's overheating, and he goes down, unfortunately. So, 
12 kills over 9 for the enemy team. Well played, GG. And guys, if you enjoyed this content and you would like to support me in making more videos, then head on over and check out my Patreon page, link in the video description below. 2 killing blows, 5 assists, 1 KMDD, 7 components taken out, 848 damage done. Support Hatamotochi, learn build, try it out, let me know how it goes. DTB out.